I had a hard day. Have you ever left your comfort zone? Unpleasant feeling, right? And imagine that you need to leave a huge zone while sitting in a small comfort zone. Difficult, right? Let's go in order. The day began as usual, except that Sveta insisted to make peer right that moment. I still remember thinking, why so much attention? The toilet is always available. But no, not always. I was loaded into a cat cage and carried out of the apartment. I've been here for a month and a half and have forgotten how it is outside. New smells, sounds, wind, cold in the end. However, I don't mind cold weather at all. The apartment is a bit hot, so I was just too happy to cool off a bit. Jenny and Milana loaded me into the car and drove off. And by the way, they forgot to inform me about our destination. I tried to ask, but they received no answer. I had nothing to do except to sit and wait, to lie down and wait. Walking and waiting did not work, because the place is not enough, and I got car sick. We drove long and out. I already began to worry that I would have to get used to new people. These, of course, are not the best ones, but I can live with them and they feel deliciously. We stopped near a strange building which was decorated with my photo. So nice. Even this is an older version of me. What does it mean another cat? I don't want to know anything. This building was decorated with my photo. No vacuum. It turned out to be crowd inside. A lot of cat and dog faces. Fortunately, after Felix and Milana, some other animals out there do not scare me anymore. We did not wait long. We were taken to a room. They got me out of a cat cage and a strange man in a blue robe created a thermometer in my ass. It was all of a sudden. No greeting, no excuse, just like this, so intimate. I wanted to go back to my comfort zone at that moment. I escaped to the cat cage. Temperature, as it turned out, is within normal limits. Checkmate, Milana, I am healthy. I was pretty glad about my little victory when they stuck a needle into my wizards. So I knew what vaccination mean. I tried to dodge and bite the veterinarian, but Jenny held me tight. And only I decided to be outraged how it all ended. I was put first to the cat cage and then back to the car. Jenny and me brought Milana to her grandmother and returned home. How much I was sleepy. Jenny said this is due to vaccination and will pass in a couple of days. Probably this is for weak cats. This effect was gone already by evening. Yeah, hold me tight.